Hello everyone and welcome back to MATLAB Helper. In this video tutorial, we are going to look at secant method. Now, secant method can be used to find out the roots of a function wherein you are not able to explicitly separate that variable from the other elements that are present in the function. In the previous video tutorials, we looked at newton raphson's method that used the derivative of the function to find out the root estimate. Now, the formula that it used to find out the derivative was so let's call this equation one now at times finding out the derivative of function can become inconvenient during such conditions or cases we can use the finite difference formulas uh, for example the forward difference or the backward difference formulas to find out the derivative so by using the backward difference formula i can modify the f dash equation so this is the equation and now I'm going to just substitute the value of f dash of x in equation 1 to solve for x of i plus 1. Now as we do that we get x of i plus 1. So this is the formula that is used to find out the next root estimate and this is used in the secant method to find out the root. As you can see in this equation, there are two arbitrarily initialized variables uh, which are needed to find out the root estimate. Now, instead of using these arbitrary values, we can actually modify the equation of f dash of x as shown here. And this f dash of x can later be solved to find the value of x i plus 1 and the equation turns out to be so this is the modified formula which has no arbitrary initialized variables and this formula is used in the modified secant method to find out the root so i made two functions that will use both the secant formula and the modified secant formula to find out the roots of the function now the secant function takes the input as the function, the initial and uh, uh, the two arbitrary initialized values and the value of ES that will determine our or that will define our terminating condition. Moving on to the loop which actually executes uh, the formula is this for loop and as you can see on line 24 that is the equation which defines the secant formula and we can see that the value of x of i is the root estimate. Iterations will terminate once the terminating condition is satisfied defined by the value es. Now let's try solving it. I'm going to initialize our equation. This is our equation and I'm going to call the secant function. I'll change the value of the range and I'll just hit enter. So that is the answer that we get using the secant method. Now moving on to the modified secant method, oh, we have already derived the formula and that exact formula is implemented in line 22 in the while loop. This while loop defines the terminating condition and the formula right here defines the modified secant formula similar to what we saw in the secant method. Now I'm going to call on the modified secant method function and we should have our output. So as you can see, this is how you implement secant method in MATLAB. I hope this video was helpful to you and if it was, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel and keep yourself updated. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.